the mayor has given me permission to promote the next 12 members on the sergeant's list. The 12th man on the list is Patrick McDonald. Sergeant's badge 398 will be issued to your son and will be immediately retired from service along with badge 2831, which he wore on the day he died. I was so proud of my son. I just, that was the first time in the history of the city of Philadelphia that two badge numbers were retired. So that speaks for itself. It was quite an honor. But then it also brought me sadness that he wasn't there to see it. He worked hard for that. He earned it. It wasn't something that was given to him, but I think that uh, it was fitting and proper that he be given this one last tribute, uh, and that being a promotion to a rank of sergeant. Knowing that he died the way he died, I couldn't have wrote the script any better for Patrick. With that said, he's my son, and it's, uh, it's not human nature to lose your children, and it's extremely painful. But I try to take some comfort in knowing that he died doing what he wanted to do. Pat McDonald was part of the Highway Patrol. The Highway Patrol here in Philadelphia is a very elite unit, um, enforcement unit, a specialized unit uh, that goes out and works high crime missions. You have to meet certain requirements just to get to the interview. Pat was a, it came in as a young, aggressive officer. He had a large amount, quality of arrest. Uh, he was previously assigned to the 25th Police District, which is one of the busiest, if not the busiest, in the city. I didn't want to be on a police department and not be in one of the best units the police department has. He, Pat was not the kind of, who was going to join any organization just to be a member of the organization. If he was on your team, he was one of your best players. was the same person on the football field he was in life. He, he always worked hard and uh, you know that's just how he lived too. He did everything at 110 percent even you know all, when he came onto the police department he was always studying you know finished his degree while he was uh, working on the police department. For the past two and a half years that's all he did study eat sleep and walk those books. Pat wanted to become a sergeant. Pat studied hard. He took his job as a police officer seriously. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind he would have been promoted to lieutenant, captain, and above. He was a smart kid and a good kid. We have seen another incident of tragic violence here in Philadelphia. Uh, Officer McDonald shot down today, eight-year veteran of the Philadelphia Police Department, 30 years old. The funeral was absolutely incredible. I mean, it was something I, I'd never even imagined could have been so positive in such a sad time. And he deserved it. You know, he gave his life for the city. He gave his life for the citizens of Philadelphia. He died a hero, and he was a hero. You know, he was the real deal. And, and he deserved the amazing burial that he got. Well, you'd be hard pressed to think of anybody who was more dedicated to the police department than Pat McDonald. I think his father described him best when he described him as an absolute warrior. He's an absolute warrior. He would do whatever it took to get to, to, to the level he needed to get to. He always had a strong heart and goodwill. From such a tough guy, he always wrote the nicest love letters. Pat should be remembered as a, a warrior, a soldier, a true hero who, who never gave up. What I'll miss the most is um, the sense of protection and security that I felt at, with him as my brother. It's rare that you find someone that you can trust with your life and trust with your family. 
in your home, and I'm gonna miss that. You know, his friends, his family, and, and his community were the more, more, most important to him. You know, he pointed at an old man sitting on a step one day. He said, see that old guy right He's like, that's gonna be me. 80 years old, still sitting here. He's like, I ain't going anywhere. You know, I think the people knew that and saw that in him and, uh, you know, really respect it and, and felt good about having him around, you know, on that block there. He was a good uh, son, a good brother. He, unfortunately, became a hero. That very act says all you need to say about Pat McDonald. The courage to chase that guy, to attack that guy who was, who was 40 pounds heavier than him, three, four inches taller than him wasn't a deterrent, you know? That's how I'd like him to be remembered. That's who he was. You know, there's this thing in football where you've got the 12th man, that, you know, invisible force that makes, that gives home field its advantage. I mean, it's the fans, it's the crowd. Well, Pat being the 12th person on that list kind of made him our 12th man. That's something that I'll never, ever forget because he may not be physically with us now, but he's that, he's that strength, that inspiration that I think helps people continue on uh, just thinking about him, thinking about his sacrifice, thinking about what he stood for. It really is a reflection of the values that this department stands for, honor, service, and integrity. Hi, I'm Mayor Mike Nutter. Welcome to Their Sacrifice, Our History, Philadelphia's memorial to the police officers who gave their lives while protecting our city. I want to thank Comcast for partnering with us to bring this deeply moving memorial and website to life. Every day, courageous police officers patrol our streets. Far too often, they are injured or give their lives keeping us safe. But we will never forget them or their heroism, nor shall we ever surrender our neighborhoods to criminals. To honor their incredible sacrifice and to make our city safer, citizens and police officers must build stronger partnerships based on mutual respect and open communication. Community policing is our strongest foundation against crime. We can all serve as the eyes and ears of the police because here, in the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection, we are responsible for ourselves and each other. Thank you. Welcome, I'm Charles Ramsey, Police Commissioner for the Philadelphia Police Department. Thank you for visiting this memorial. It is dedicated to all of our brave men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the Philadelphia Police Department and the citizens of this great city. Through the generous support of Comcast, this state-of-the-art memorial and website will provide a lasting tribute for those who have fallen in the line of duty. I can't think of any word more appropriate to describe these men and women than hero. They are truly a reflection of the values of this department, honor, service, and integrity. Their sacrifice is our shared history now. They leave behind a tremendous legacy of service, and with that, we owe them and their families our gratitude and our prayers. Please, take a moment here to reflect on their acts of heroism and sacrifice. Thank you.